Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Blog. In this video, I will explain you the introduction to frames part 2. In the previous video, we have seen the introduction of frames, what is frame, what are the classification of frames and some examples of frames. In this video lecture, we will see what are the types of support for frames, nature of forces, assumptions in frames, methods of analysis from frames. So coming to types of supports, different types of support for frames. There are simple support, roller support, hinge support and fixed support. Coming to simple support, if the trusses simply rest over the supports is known as simple supports. You can see these supports, this simple frame is resting on a simple supports. This type of supports are known as simple supports where there will be only vertical reaction in the supports roller support second type of support is roller support in this if the trusses rest on the rollers we can see the roller support over the supports then there will be rotation and lateral displacement there will be a vertical reaction perpendicular rb for this roller support next third type of support is hinge support there will be only rotation and no lateral displacement in this support there will be vertical and horizontal reaction two unknown reactions we will see in hinge support that is HA and RA for this hinge support now coming to the fixed support in this if the trusses are rigidly fixed to the support there will be no rotation lateral displacement or vertical displacement there will be only a, a vertical reaction a horizontal reaction and a moment now coming to nature of forces in a frame, generally a truss is only having a axial forces only that will either be a compression force or a tensile force and compressive force in the members of a frame. If the compressive force acts on a member then there will be an equal and opposite force induced in the member as you can see in this figure there is a compressive force from both the sides on the member then internal force developed in the member is towards the joint okay if there is a compressive force in the member then we have the internal forces towards the joint that is in this in this way the op opposite compressive force produced in the member can expressed by an arrow directing outwards as you can see this direction if there is an compressive force the direction of internal forces will be toward the joint now coming to tensile force if tensile force is acting on a member then there will be an equal and opposite force induced in the member the opposite tensile force produced in the member can be expressed by an arrow directing inwards that means if this is a member ab if there is a tensile force acting on the member then the internal forces will be away from the joint as you can see here this will be helpful while solving the problems the if there is a tensile force then we have the direction of internal forces away from the joint as you can see here in this frame suppose in this member I have a compressive force this blue color is indicated as compressive force in this member a. then we have internal forces that is towards the joints as you can see for tension if the member is in tension we have the internal forces direction is towards each other that is away from the joint whereas in compression if the member is in compression we have the internal forces towards the joint as you see in the figure nature of forces in frames see if this is a compression force in this member top member I have the internal forces di direction in this way that is toward the joint these internal forces resist the compressive forces ok now coming to zero force members zero force members support no loading 
these members are used for stability purpose as you can see in this example the member is loaded at this point some extra members are there which doesn't have any compression and tension such type of members are known as the zero force members in this figure where you have seen the x x x x these members neither have the compression or tension so this type of members are known as zero force members now coming to assumptions in the frames several assumptions will made for analyzing the frames the first assumption is all members all frames are perfect and statically determinate all members of the frames are assumed to be pin jointed connected only the loads are applied only at the joints or nodes that means the all the external load should be applied at the nodes or joints the self weight of the members is neglected the deflection due to external loads are considered to be minimum and hence can be neglected all the members lie in a single plane these are all the assumptions which you have to remember for analyzing address and now coming to the methods of analysis for frames we have different analysis methods for analyzing a frame some of them are method of joints method of sections tension coefficient method and graphical method in the next video lessons i will explain you the concept and introduction and procedure regarding all these four methods of analysis of frame that is method of joints method of sections tension coefficient method and graphical method so that's it guys i hope you like this video thank you